Eisenhower has a unique connection to our area. A locomotive engine named in his honor returned to the Green Bay area today after two years overseas. Back in 2012, National Railroad Museum officials offered a special goodbye to its main visitor attraction. They loaned the Dwight D. Eisenhower locomotive to a museum in England. It's really kind of a shared part of our military history with Great Britain. During World War II, this is the fastest type of passenger train, and it was the type of train that was used for General Eisenhower during the war. That was his mobile command center. Museum member Dennis Radnick was on the grounds when it came in covered in a tarp. This is uh, amazing, and it's a, it's a treat. It's a privilege to be here with this thing. There's a lot of history to it. And the history has been restored. The deal with England included a cosmetic restoration in addition to its prompt return, despite several offers from England to buy the railroad treasure. It was brought here for the public trust. It was something that was supposed to be for the American people, and that's something that we keep um, because that's an important thing. England donated the Eisenhower to the National Railroad Museum, first arriving in 1964. It's been here all but the last two years. And now that it's back, the museum is working to restore two companion passenger cars to once again place on permanent exhibit. And the public can get its first glimpse at the restored Eisenhower starting August 2nd.